Aaron, uh, you know, Judge, you've talked about how he's not letting any of this get to him. Um, you know, he, he seemed to react a little bit to that check swing uh, to the call at first base, which is unusual for him. Is there any part of him that might start to feel it as this goes on? I don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't think that's unusual for him either. That's like, you know, when DJ claps his hands at second, you say, DJ showing a rare emotion. He does it all the time. And Judge reacts. He just doesn't go argue with you. Um, you know, I think it was a case of he felt like he held his swing and simple reaction, but he was locked right back in. So, um, yeah, I don't think so. Um, you know, it's a tough game, though, and, you know, look forward to him uh, – Take another crack at it tomorrow. Tyler to the left. How 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 did you evaluate his at bats? What did you what did you see? It looks like he was getting a lot of fastballs that he was found back. Is that a sign of anything? Or? I think he's been on stuff all week. Um, you know, all or this whole series. You know, Pavetta had a good fastball going early. Um, I thought he got some good swings off against him. <coughs> um, just, you know, just missed a few balls. You know, that, that happens, you know, sometimes you, you know, you get that one where you get your good swing off and you put it on the net, you know, I mean, that's, that's one of those you just miss, you know, he's, he obviously got under one today again, where he got a good swing off and just, you know, skied it to center. He's done that a few times within this series. And then as that game unfolds, you, you start getting in the shadows. You got Schreiber, who's about as tough to do it against right on right, um, especially in the shadows there. Um, so, I mean, I think he he looks exactly the same to me as he basically has the entire year, you know, at bat quality-wise. Ron, front row. <coughs> Is it hard for him or anyone to tune it out when – it's not just walking to the plate in a normal situation. The crowd's up and quiet, everyone. And it's not for you to just succeed. It's they're wanting to see a home run, almost like they've come for a circus act. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, that's a little, a little, I feel that more than probably he does. You know, like, you know, I think, I think you asked the question well. And yeah, it's, it's, this is the ultimate competition at the highest level. And, Again, even for a guy that hits 60 home runs, he still doesn't hit them every day. You know, it's it's a a lot of things got to line up to go deep, even for the best of the best. So, um, as long as he continues to take good at bat and make good swing decisions, it'll happen sooner rather than later. And then unrelated, as much as the relievers don't want to yield, at some point, are some of the walks hurting you with all the traffic on base? You mean our guys walking? Yeah. Well, we don't want to walk guys. No, but they don't want to give in either, so they're putting some people on who are coming. Yeah, I mean, you start, you know, walking guys, you know, consistently, you're playing with fire, you know. So, no, that's not, you know, I think in some of these cases, not it's not a case of not giving in. It's a case of just, you know, not quite executing command-wise and, and losing guys. We're not trying to put guys on or... You know, there's there's those certain occasions where you're not going to give in to a certain guy, but for the most part, we we don't want to put guys on. Over to the left. Hi, Angel from ESPN Deportes. Uh, two questions: Do you think the attention judge is getting affect the team being so close to the postseason? And the other question is: Have you been given any advice to Aaron since he got a number 60 on Tuesday? Any specific advice or any conversation? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, look, I think obviously he's beloved in there and everyone wants him to get it. So, um, you know, I think it's, it's added a little bit of, it's obviously added eyeballs and attention and intensity, <coughs> excuse me, ratcheted up a bit. Um, but you know, so, so maybe there's a little heightened sense of, focus and energy being that we're in a pennant race and you know we're sitting here in the midst of history um as far as advice no no i i mean you know we kind of talk every day and uh but no since he got 60 i've not given him any advice 
back right. Aaron, um, when you put it into context here, Maris had Mantle and they had each other. McGuire had Sosa. Could you speak to the resolve and the motivation of Aaron Judge to get this done alone at the time? I mean, you look down, it's Kyle Schwarber with 40 home runs, last I checked. So could you speak to just the resolve and the motivation for him to do this alone? Um, so you're saying alone in the sense of there's nobody pushing, nobody chasing with him. I see. Um, well, I, I think that's that's where it, it spreads to the greater conversation of just how great a season it is, you know, and and why I believe it's if not the best season ever, certainly right in the conversations with others because he has so far and above outperformed the rest of the league. Um, I don't know. I don't think I don't think we look at it that way, and I don't think Aaron looks at it that way. He's just kind of head down. We're trying to win. We're trying to get into the playoffs and win a division right now. And so I don't think – I don't think he's been alone or lonely. You're with your teammates. You're playing, so you're not sitting there. You know, I, I don't. I think it's a non-factor. Brendan. Of course, you don't put it in the picture expecting him to struggle. But was it not a surprise to you to see Britain struggle a little bit with his control? Was it what? Uh, not a surprise to you to see Britain struggle a little bit with his control, considering <laughs> the, the long layoff and first time back. Yeah, um, I thought stuff wise he looked good, and you know he comes in and you know gets ahead of Rafi, and you know I thought he, even when he when he walked him, you know I thought he was competitive with him the whole at bat, just you know probably nibbled around the edges a little bit. Um, but it was good to see. I thought his arm looked quick. I thought the stuff was sharp. I thought the sinker was there. And then, he, you know, Bogarts gets him for the hit. Good job of striking out Verdugo. And then he lost lost the zone a little bit there with Enrique, but again, competitive with Casas. So, you know, obviously it wasn't a great line for him or a great, um, you know, not one of his best performances, but it wasn't one of those where he was just searching. I didn't feel like that. I felt like he was just a tick off. Um, command wise and and it was good to see the stuff there and, and hopefully this is um, kind of get through that first one and and hopefully you know build on something Joel <coughs> with Britain and others do you does it make you uneasy that this late in the game you're still kind of auditioning what your postseason bullpen is going to look like no, I mean, that is what it is. We've got Efros back today. Obviously, we get Britt back today. Those are two guys that have a chance to impact us, I, I think especially because Scott's had the season and, and under his belt. So I'm excited to get him back. We're real optimistic about what Wandy's going to be in a week. Um, you know, so, no, I mean, we got no other choice. And this is an opportunity, and the reality is we have – really good arms and options down there and it's an opportunity for somebody to grab a more significant role moving forward and we got to do it that way.